Hi, I'm Nathan Glover, and I'm going to talk to you about my internet-connected toaster. This was originally not an internet-connected toaster, but I put it on the internet because, just because. Um, the problem I had was that Christmas gifts are hard, and the people we were giving gifts to wanted a stationary box. So I was like, okay, cool. We'll go down to Spotlight. So we went to Spotlight, and I was like, oh, that's supposed to be a toaster. Whoops. Okay, those are blurry for some reason. But anyway, um, that's a toaster. That's a stationary box. The stationary box was $20. The toaster was $10. And I'm like, well, I'm going to buy a toaster. It's basically a stationary box. So I decided to go down the path of turning a, a, sta a toaster into a stationary box. What is a toaster? Well, I didn't know that. So I pulled it apart. I worked out how everything works. The copper pads get pushed out when the toast gets dropped in. I worked out the different components. It's a time circuit. Use a potentiometer to increase the resistance and um, change the way the capacitor fills up. Uh, and then I was like, okay, cool, let's put LEDs all over it. So this is where I sort of messed up to start with. Um, I was like, okay, let's put them in series. But then I realized, oh no, voltage drop. So I put it into parallel. I'm like, oh no, current problems. So this is kind of how it turned out in the end. Uh, yeah, I learned a lot of stuff though, which is cool. Uh, then I was like, okay, let's stick a microcontroller on this because why not? So I went with the ESP8266. Then I painted it because it was kind of ugly and it needed to look like a Christmas gift. Uh, I, that's the end result. I worked out that glossy paint was better and the original paint I used scratched. And then I printed some sort of toaster bays. Uh, this took about 18 hours to print. I wouldn't recommend doing this. There's probably simpler ways to do it. So I was like, code time, code time, cool, boring. Yeah, anyway, that's code. Now, how do I actually get this device into AWS IoT? I use this thing called Certificate Vending Machine, which I highly re recommend checking out if you have devices you need to uh, deploy onto AWS. Uh, it basically exposes the functionality over a REST endpoint. You have a pre-share key and the device name. You send that off, and you get a response back with all the information for your certificates. Then you convert that certificate, those certificate details into DER format. Uh, and then I use Platform IO in order to upload the certificates to the device, uh, basically using uh, the non-volatile memory as flash storage. Uh, typically, I would actually put the, the certificate in the code, which is really bad practice. So I was really happy to find this solution, and it worked really well. And that's the final result. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but I still needed to communicate with a toaster. So. I talked to it over MQTT. It sends information about itself, uh, the colors of the LEDs that it's currently displaying, and a short sort of generated message. And then I was like, OK, now I need to talk back to this divide. So how am I going to do that? This is how. I created the toaster uh, battalion. Uh, they're groups of toasters. And basically, I can send it commands and have that toaster execute things. Uh, I'm planning on, I guess, improving this project as I go on in the future. The takeaway for this is that I had a lot of fun doing this. I needed to learn how to use AWS IoT. I needed to learn a little bit about electronics. So I used something that was fun to me to learn that. And I think that's really important, because it drove me to learn about all these interesting new pieces of technology and how I could better implement them at the company I work for. There's some information and some links around. There's a blog post detailing all this, and also a repo where I've kind of outlined. I've got all my CloudFormation scripts. Um, thank you very much.